With the increase of Azure Virtual Desktop utilization, it's more important to ensure sensitive information are protected. A first level of protection have been added with a screen capture protection, but yesterday Microsoft announced a new protection capability in public review called watermarking that will allow you to protect sensitive information leaks by enabling watermark that would appear as part of remote desktop sessions. Later in the video, I will show you how it works and how to set it up. Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how we enable watermark for Azure Virtual Desktop. In this video, we will explain what watermark is, how it looks like, why it's important for us, what are the prerequisites. When it comes to the configuration and enablement, we will see how we can enable watermark for Azure Virtual Desktop. Also, we will see how we can utilize QR code in order to find user session and user information. Another option we will be using is Azure Virtual Desktop Insights, which is, will allow us to have a deep investigation and connection diagnostic. Last option we will utilize is Azure Log Analytic in order to get the session details. So just before we dig into the actual video tutorial, if you are interested in gaining a deeper understanding of Azure Virtual Desktop Services, check out my Udemy course link in the description below. Let's see what is watermarking. So watermarking is a feature in preview right now that allow administrator to add a watermark to the desktop remote session that can include such information like session ID can be utilized to get more information like the username, the date and time of the session and more. This feature is important for organizations that need to protect content on Azure Virtual Desktop from being stolen for security and compliance purpose. What we can do with Azure Virtual Desktop watermarking? Once we enable the QR code watermark on Azure Virtual Desktop, we can scan the QR code to discover the session connection ID. And using the session connection ID, we will be able to get all the user information via Azure Virtual Desktop Insights or Azure Log Analytic. Why this feature is important? Alongside with Azure Virtual Desktop Screen Capture Protection, watermarking protect the content on Azure Virtual Desktop from being stolen, used, or altered without the owner permission. So QR code watermark allow you to track and trace the session information as an admin. How Azure Virtual Desktop watermarking look like? So the end user will have a normal desktop interface, but also they would be able to see a kind of QR code distributed over all the session. So in order to enable watermarking feature, you would require a Windows Desktop Client version 1.2.3317 or later. Also, you would require Azure Virtual Desktop Insights configured for your AVD environment. Last, you would require the administrative template, which is, will allow you to enable the group policy function for Azure Virtual Desktop environment. So now, Let's download the administrative template and enable the watermark feature on our Azure Virtual Desktop environment. Now I will be opening a remote session for my Azure Virtual Desktop environment. Ask me for my credential. So our session is ready for the group policy configuration. Let's download the template and configure the GPO. So this is where we will download the administrative template for the Azure Virtual Desktop. Extracting them. So as we know, we will have two files. One will be under the policy definition directly and one will be under our language. 
so I will be copying the one for ENUS jump into Windows system so under Windows and then policy definition and then ENUS I will just paste the template here and then back to our ADM template file I will copy the ADMX file back to the root policy definition and just paste it here so now if I open group policy edit I should be able to see the Azure virtual desktop administrative template it should be under Windows component remote desktop services and then under the remote desktop session host controller I can see that I have a new folder for Azure virtual desktop now it's time to enable the watermarking as well as the screen capture so i'll just be enabling the watermarking i will keep all the qr code options with the default settings and then we can customize it based on our needs Also enabling the screen capture protection. Enable and then OK. So those two features are function now. I'll just push the group policy update. back to our presentation so now we have downloaded the administrative template we enabled the watermarking function also we enabled the uh, screen capture protection we pushed the group policy update the next action right now is to connect to the remote session and see if the QR code is appearing I'll just disconnect from this session. And let's try to reconnect. Great looks like it's function so now as you can see we already have the qr showing on our desktop interface now let's play around with the qr setting options so as you can see on the screen the qr code is a bit visible which is not allowing us to see the actual content itself so i will try to just minimize the opacity for a bit minimal so right now it's 2000 i'll just change it to 1000 just decrease the opacity a bit again i'll just sign out and sign in back so as shown the opacity right now is a bit uh transparent so it won't be really challenging the end user when they are interacting with their content and the actual Azure Virtual Desktop environment. Back to our presentation. So we completed the enablement for the watermarking. Also, we were we already configured some changes on the QR code option. So actually, 
just to explain the QR code option, we do have here the scaling factor. Right now, the scaling factor is set to four, and that's actually how many uh, number of squares that should be visible in your uh, interface. And also when it comes to the opacity, uh, actually it was set for uh, 2000 as the default. However, the maximum is 49 and uh, the documentation showing up that the 700 is the default. We decreased the opacity to 1000 just to make it a bit transparent. The same situation when it comes to height and wide. Uh, right now it's uh, 320 however it can be maxed to 1000 and minimum 200 and the same situation for height now it's time to use this qr code in order to get the user connection id and also utilize the Azure Virtual Desktop Insights to get more information about this user. So let's jump back to the Azure Virtual Desktop session and scan the QR, getting the connection ID, and then use this connection ID to get some more insights from the Azure Virtual Desktop Insights. So right now I'm scanning the QR code using my phone. After scanning the QR code, I was able to get the connection ID, which is I will be pasting it back here just to get some more information. That's the connection ID. And then jumping back to Azure Virtual Desktop Insights, changing the subscription. And then looking under the connection diagnostic. I was able to figure out that there is one attempt using this connection ID and it was successful connection. And that was under my identity itself. So jumping in back to the presentation. Now it's time to jump into the Azure Log Analytic workspace and see how we can use this connection ID to get more information about the user session. So to get the session information with a specific connection ID, we have to run the comment for, uh, we have to run the query, which is WVD connection where the correlation ID contained the connection ID. Let's jump into the Azure portal and run this command. So under log analytic and then logs. And then here we can just WVD and then connection where correlation ID contains this connection ID. So just run. So we have two sessions. One was started and the other one was already connected. And it was under my username. And that's the client version that I'm using. That's my public IP. And that's the client side IP. And this is the host session name and many other information. So we can utilize the Azure Virtual Desktop Insights for uh, some related information related to the end user itself. And also we can utilize the uh, uh, Azure Log Analytic Workspace for full details about the session that we need to investigate. So that's it for this tutorial and I hope this was informative for you. Thank you and have a good day.